It's all about the best and brightest of Broadway each and every week here on The Broadway Show. I'm Tamsin Fidel. Thanks for being with us. It's the Broadway premiere of a London smash hit. The collaboration stars Paul Bettany and Jeremy Pope, playing two of the giants in modern art history. Let's send it out to Paul Wontorek. That's right, Tamsin. Paul Bettany and Jeremy Pope are going toe-to-toe -to -toe as Andy Warhol and Jean-Michel Basquiat in the collaboration. We sat down to talk about their art imitating life. These two men came together. They both were at very different places in their career. Can you talk a little bit about sort of what they got out of each other? Ultimately, what our play is exploring, just these two, you know, people who on the surface feel very different. You know, when you look at their art, um, it's kind of like night and day. They collaborated, they found, they, you know, they found this time together to, to see each other and I think kind of fall in love artistically, emotionally is what happened. I think for Basquiat was a bit unexpected, but he, he admired Warhol for, for who he was and what he did. We're meeting them at a time where Warhol is existing as one thing and Basquiat is kind of on the rise. Um, as this neo-expressionist artist. Um, and we kind of see how the art landscape is changing and what that means for Warhol and what that means for Basquiat. And they found each other and they found a friendship and companionship that outlived, I think, their art. Playing Andy Warhol, his mannerisms, his physical appearance, it's very specific. He, he seems otherworldly in some ways, the way, you know, the, the physical presence of Andy Warhol. Were you, what was it like to take him on? Dennis O'Sullivan, producer, uh, who's an old mate of mine, uh, called me up and said, would you like to play Andy Warhol? And I went, absolutely not. I just felt like it was very, it's very difficult to get out from underneath all of that carefully curated monosyllabic public persona that he had. I, he sent me the diaries. He speaks in these long, circuitous sentences, and uh, so I, I, I started talking to some people that knew him, like Candice Bergen and, um, and Anna Winter, and, and, and they said, yeah, he was very verbose in, in private and quite free with uh, himself. Mm. And so I went, oh, because the diaries read a lot more like Truman Capote than they do you think, your, your idea of Andy Warhol. And so I thought maybe there was a that maybe there was a way in. What do you think of the actual art when you see? There, there are lovers and haters of it. I found it incredibly moving, and I did not understand. I didn't know um, that it had been a total flop when uh, it yeah. was first mounted. Mm -hmm. But this is a blip. I mean, you can't get one for under ninety million dollars now. Right, and so and I I think it was an incredibly successful collaboration. Mm -hmm. right. And. It's very much kind of what the play is about. Two people with seemingly n n n nothing in common finding common ground. Right. And I, you really find, I, I, I think you feel that in their, in their works together. I think that I found them very moving. Right, same. I think Basquiat had, from his heart and mind, he had a direct connection to his canvas. So that's why it does feel political. It does feel spiritual because I think he's just channeling wherever he is and what was happening in the world. Whereas Andy kind of has, he sits with it and, he, and there's corporations, there's logos, but there's also an intention behind it. And I think that's what our, our play kind of explores, yeah. that they both have very strong intentions with how they're approaching their art. And then that's where they're able to find the common ground within that. I think it's beautiful to kind of see the world still unpacking the Andy and unpacking the Basquiat. May their art live forever. It's sort of like a, a it's an interesting, thought experiment, right, to sort of imagine what the world would look like now if Basquiat and mm. Warhol hadn't existed. It's like trying to imagine what it would sound like without the Beatles or something, you know, mm -hmm. like, <laughs> we take for granted so much of how things look graphically in advertisements and in art and in fashion, uh, and, and, and so much of it is um, d derivative of, of Warhol and Basquiat, mm -hmm. actually. It's really fun in the play watching them size each other up when, when, in, in the first act in their own unique ways. What was the Paul Jeremy collaboration like? What was it like sort of coming together and getting to know, did you size each other up? What was that process like? What was it like? <laughs> Well, Paul, <laughs> interesting that you should ask. I think it's important to really tell the truth about this. Can we dim the lights? Um, no, it was just getting on stage with Jeremy feels like as close to flying in my dreams or skiing 
somehow, where I just go, oh my god, everything is easy, and, 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 and it has its own volition, and, and the, 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 the play just starts, and then suddenly you're, 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 you're flying. You have certain days where you can get in your head and feel anxious just about it all. And I'll call him and it's like he's having the same feeling. So I really it's just this affirmation of like we're in this together. And it's such a gift when I get on that stage to have a partner where I do feel so free. It's a bit bittersweet because this is kind of like the last leg of the tour. But I'm so excited that we're here in New York. That's right. That we're on Broadway together with our amazing cast. Uh, that we've been working as, with. as wonderful as as it was, it went down very well in London. We love doing it, and, but it really does feel like a, a homecoming mm -hmm. for the for the play. I feel like we're bringing it to its natural home. Right. You know, it's, 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 this is the habitat it's a that it lives in. Yeah. It's a New York story, and to be able to show it to New Yorkers, uh, these two you know New York icons, I'm really I'm thrilled to be doing that. I have to ask you about the hair. They both have iconic <laughs> hair. So what is the, the wig work like? Listen. And how does it feel? To be, and do you miss it when you take it off? <laughs> <laughs> nope. I, I have a brilliant wig maker called Carol Robinson. She made the first wig for the play in London and she felt she had made a mistake. So, and the mistake was that Andy actually used half human hair and half yak belly hair. And so uh, we uh, redressed that <laughs> issue uh, in, uh, in the film. And so those are the wigs that I'm bringing to uh, MTC. I mean, Basquiat, you know, he had, he had free locks, which is, you just let them grow. To really find out what, 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 what was he doing, and the answer is nothing. It was, it was just growing to his head in a specific way. So, you know, it, it definitely helps, I think, with both characters having the wigs. You know, it, it kind of brings it together. I feel good about them. They're fun. Have fun. Good place to hide a little snack as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, get hungry. <laughs> you both also had fantastic success on screen, on film and TV. And Jeremy, you're having uh, actually a very buzzy moment right now. You have a movie coming out, The Inspection. Yes. Everyone's it's talking about. So Can't wait to see it. Irritatingly good. <laughs> <laughs> irritatingly good. That's the review. So good at it. It's really, I went to see it the other night. I was so annoyed at him. <laughs> <laughs> Right out of the box, he's just great. Uh, so yeah, that was very annoying. You got to make uh, a film of the collaboration yeah. after your London run. That'll come out after this. And then now to bring it back to the stage and <laughs> how did work yeah. on the film inform <laughs> the new run of the play? The play has benefited from, it has changed. It's benefited from things that we learned mm -hmm. during the making of the film. So um, there, there are definitely new things in the play from... Uh, that's the thing, we like keep finding. We keep exploring and finding and I think that's to have creators and collaborators that are down to do that and not go, this is what it is, this is what it has to be. So now that we're here on Broadway, we go, what, what do we want to do? And less about like, oh, what we did in the movie or what we did yeah. in London. And that's great and it's fun and it, it, it keeps it fresh and new mm -hmm. um, and exciting. You know what, after the film, if you get, if you miss each other, I would totally watch like a Netflix streaming series based on them as well. Just we want to do a comedy. We want to do a comedy. Next up is a comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Just jokes. Just jokes. Just jokes.